Today, I'm talking about the Londinium R24. This is uh, a machine that I've been really looking forward to trying uh, for years now. And the reason why is because uh, I'm at my friend's place. I got a decent uh, 1.1 here. It's because I kind of exclusively only pull the Londinium profile on the decent. It's really interesting to actually try the real machine, as we would say. And my opinion of it is that it is one of the most easy to use, most forgiving machines out there. Basically, you kind of just put the coffee in, you pull the lever, and, and it tastes good. And I'll go more into that, but we'll kind of be covering just more overview of the machine, what I like about it, some of the really interesting quirks about the Londinium, as well as some of the other things, which is like, how does it compare to the actual decent? And that's kind of the video because there really isn't much to say about the machine because it's so simple. It's just very straightforward. So let's go right into the Londinium. Very, very easy to use. Pull the lever down, pre-infuse for however much you want, and you push the lever up, and the spring will do the rest of the work. This means that your shots are incredibly consistent as long as you actually time how long you pre-infuse for. It's also super fun to use, and it's kind of really, it's a behemoth of a machine. It is really, really long, so make sure you actually have the space for it. But basically what's cool about this machine is that it is just incredibly forgiving. So what's interesting is the actual flow rate of the Londinium when you pull the lever down. Definitely in that like 18 plus mils per second. Also depends a little bit on your actual pre-infusion settings, which we will go into. My original thought on the Londinium before I started using it was that it's very limited because you kind of can only do so much with a spring lever. But because there's actually an app that allows you to adjust pre-infusion pressure, this means that you have incredible control over your profiles. You know, I can use like pre-infusion uh, lever down to pull the entire shot like I can with, with the Decent, for example. I'd pull a Sprover. I did not expect the Londinium to have such flexibility in shots. You can pull turbos, you can pull ultralights, and you can pull more traditional styles of shots. I think for a lot of people, you're, most people are pulling very traditional styles of shots, but I pulled turbos on this and they were amazing. I believe the reason why the machine is so forgiving is that initial massive flow rate where I guess it's kind of a meme now, but it's called the water hammer where the puck gets compressed so, so much due to the initial flow rate that it seems to, I think, eliminate all problems or inconsistencies in the puck. Kind of just practical day-to-day -day usage of this machine is it's really just a put the coffee in, pull the lever, get a great cup. But what may annoy people is that you're gonna need to do the cup swaps. It's a lever machine. There's gonna be re that residual pressure unless you, of course, have everything dialed in. But I think what's super cool about it is actually the turbo shot and kind of the profiling that you can do with a machine like this. Is it going to be as consistent as a decent? Absolutely not. You, at the end of the day, are human, but it's so much more fun, at least for me, to pull the lever. And I think you kind of do get enough control. This is what's really cool about the spring levers and especially the Londinium. Uh, I also have the app which I'll show you, but basically uh, here is the cool stuff, the massive flow rate when you pull the lever, when you start actuating things. So if we look at this, that is uh, crazy. It is a big lever, so you're gonna need to be a little bit strong to pull the lever down, but once there's actually a puck in there, you pull it down, you're gonna hear pre-infusion occur. You'll, you'll actually hear the machine kind of whir. It's not as loud as the original R, apparently, but it is something to get used to. This is a quiet machine when the actual pump isn't running or the, like, it's not, you don't hear the whirring noise, but look at that flow rate. I do wanna mention that this portafilter here is actually pretty unique. It does kind of taper inward and there's an IMS basket, but it is uh, not completely straight like you would use on something like a decent or E61 machine. Uh, so it, you do have to lock in all the way, all the way on the side here. So what's gonna happen is when I pull this down, the puck is gonna get slammed with a huge, huge flow rate. The flow rate I think does depend on what you have set in the actual app as well as the temperature, but basically, you pre-infuse for a certain period of time and you push up. Honestly, with this machine, there it's nice to have the control, but I kind of don't really think too much. I just pre-infuse and I pull what is, is, I would say a more traditional Londinium style shot, depending on if I'm aiming for a turbo or not. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the lever down, pre-infuse until I get two to three grams in cup, and then I'm gonna push the lever up. 
but that's kind of it. Right now, this machine is actually set to pretty high. It's set to six bars pre infusion because we were messing around with turbos and all of that. Uh, but I think I might actually pull a turbo depending on how well we're dialed in. We're using uh, a Cafetech model with flat max with SLM, and we're also using Apollon's Gold, which is a, a Japanese roaster. So we're using actually something kind of kind of exotic. We're using a light, light roast. And as you notice there, I put an entire Akaya Pearl on this machine. Uh, this is a really big machine, and you want to make sure you do have a spare cup here. So I'm going to go and grab a uh, cup here using a pretty big cup. And as you notice there, it fits completely fine. Uh, but the workflow of this is I pull lever down, I swap cup, and I have a great time. It's, it's super, super straightforward. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull the lever down. It's pre-infusing. You might hear that whirring happen. See that? I'm getting some liquid and I push the lever up. I'm actually pulling a kind of turbo style shot. It is flowing really, really fast, but I'm pulling, this is an 18 gram basket. I'm just going to pull actually up to uh, 54. And I'm going to do a quick cup swap here. All right. So there we go. And uh, there's, actually a fair amount of water that you can fit into this chamber. It, it's just super cool. So this is a longer ratio style of shot. Smells amazing. And it's just like, if I, if I take this out now, so I'm going to let the residual pressure go out there, but this puck is going to be insanely uh, dry. This is an incredibly forgiving and flexible machine just because of the styles of shots that you can pull there. I pulled a pretty faster flowing style of shot there with the slightly coarser grind, did turbo a little at the beginning, but it's going to work out because this is a really light roasted coffee. Wow, smells really good. Wow. It's good. This is, tastes really good. It's like very straight, straightforward. I'm not really worrying about graphs or anything. I'm not worrying about too many crazy things. I just wanted to have a really simple experience. And it's a very simple experience that allows me to actually enjoy some of these ultra light roasted coffees instead of diving deep into the numbers, which is nothing wrong with that. In fact, I think these two pair really well, but, and we'll talk about the differences uh, very soon. But what's cool about this is just still that simplicity. It's just so easy to use. I pull the lever down and get good coffee. Yeah, so the Londinium makes just absolutely amazing cups. Now, I haven't really steamed much with it, but the steam power is really great if you did want to make milk-based drinks. But I think what's more interesting to discuss here is actually something like the Decent versus Londinium. So a lot of people requested, how is the Decent profile, like an emulated Londinium profile, how does that compare to the real deal? So first of all, it's very difficult to actually compare the two simply because of flow rate differences, as well as the Londinium is just never gonna be as consistent as the Decent. This is just gonna execute same profile after profile. And now with the current version of the Decent, this is a 1.1, but the software has really allowed us to get very fine tuned into the, how we control the shot. I'm gonna start with kind of some history behind this is that a while back, what was kind of the big problem with the Decent, in my opinion at least, was control over your shot midway. Now, they try to mitigate that by giving you an actual group, group head controller. When you're actually pulling a shot on a spring lever, what I could do is I can trigger the pressure buildup or the initial flow rate of a shot or, or the kind of ramp up flow rate of a shot by just lifting the lever up. Or if I'm on a direct manual lever, what I can do is I can push down harder and faster to influence the flow rate throughout the puck. On Decent, you kind of were SOL if you messed up your grind size. What has been very fascinating is actually the addition of flow rate and pressure limiters over time in the software. So that kind of allows us to kind of basically do the exact same thing, which just says, oh wait, if your flow rate is too high or you get more than a certain amount of grams in cup, go to the next part of the profile. So let me kind of talk about the exact profile here too. So the more traditional Londinium profile is pre-infused at three bars, for until you see the first few drops or you get a few grams in the cup and then you start to build pressure. So your flow rate graph kind of looks like this, an initial fill, pre-infuse, then ramp up. And that ramp up is kind of steady. You can do that exact same profile on this machine. That's basically what this machine is doing is when I pull the lever down, that there's a massive fill of flow rate, then it pre-infuses for how long I have it down. 
And then when I push up on the lever, that's when the flow rate kind of increases and you see that liquid come out. So now that I've established that context there, with this, what is different now? The difference is, is that initial fill flow rate. I don't think the puck compresses as hard because of the amount of water that gets inputted. The decent kind of taps out at around 10 to 12 mils per second, depending on which model you have, but it's nowhere near this. This is way, way higher. And kind of what that does, at least in my experience, I don't know if there's like, someone's actually mapped out what it does, but when I pull two very identical styles of shots, if I set the pre-infusion pressures to the exact same and I try to do everything the same, I've found that the Londinium just generally has more body. And that's kind of just been my experience is that the Londinium just always has more body than the decent shot. But is that something that I always prefer? Maybe, it's very coffee dependent. I also will say that there have been some Londinium shots where I don't always get more body than the decent shot. And it's just because I'm human. I can't pull the exact same shot every single time. But on the decent, I can always get something that is just much more consistent. So I can pull a style of shot that has big body, that has really great clarity. Whereas this, it is a tick more on the amount of body that you have or perceivable texture in shot. Uh, but is that something that I'm willing to, like it is consistent, but it is, does require more effort. Plus also, I don't have the cool stuff, like I don't have a scale that will automatically stop for me. I have to do this awkward cup swapping situation. You know, both of these machines make fantastic cups. I actually think they pair really well together, to be honest, is uh, you can get very similar results. This is just much more consistent. And when you get it right, this seems to have more body. And I do want to note this is that if you were looking for the most visually pretty looking shots, I think the Londinium is, is the best between these two. You're gonna get a shot that has a ton of crema. And I do think that's just because of that pre-infusion that occurs at the beginning of that huge water flow. But taste wise, they're like very similar. This just sometimes has more body, but is it always better? Maybe. I do think that these are both fantastic machines. I'm only talking specifically about the profiles. I'm not talking about like machine to machine differences, uh, but I think that you have a lot more control on the decent, but it's much more fun to actually be able to do it yourself. All right, since we're talking about a Bluetooth connected machine like the decent, Londinium also has a Wi-Fi app that is actually kind of interesting. So uh, this does let you do a few different things. What's been really convenient is that you're actually able to uh, set the automation of the machine. So you can t have this turn on like a smart switch. You do need to have this machine on basically an hour before you pull shots. It does take a while to heat up. There's a lot of mass here that needs to be kind of temperature stable, but after that you're good to go. But what's cool about this is actually right here when we get into the app itself, we're able to actually do a fair bit with adjusting pre-infusion pressure here. So basically I can set the pre-infusion pressure from zero all the way up to six, zero all the way up to six bars. And you'll kind of hear a varying whirring that occurs and you can do different tests with this, but basically you'll see this pressure here or this bar, you'll see this bar value here. This right here is the brew boiler pressure. You'll see that actually go to the pressure at the pre-infusion. I believe that's exactly how it works. So if you set it to six, when you pull the lever down halfway, it'll go to six or, or whatever value you set it to. As you push the lever up, this is, kind of still targeting towards that nine bar, but the app doesn't really seem, at least to my knowledge, I can't actually see the pressure at the puck as the spring is uh, lifting up. I could be wrong, please correct me, but uh, I really don't care too, too much for the actual values here. I've kind of just been focusing on the taste, and what I will say is that it's fantastic. The kind of thing that you just wanna keep consistent when you're pulling this and you wanna replicate shots day to day is just ensuring your pre-infusion pressure and the actual amount of time you have the lever down. Make sure those are the same and your coffee is going to be very consistent. Uh, is it going to be as consistent as this? Absolutely not, but it's going to be fantastic. So we did pull a shot and what's really nice about these machines is that your puck is insanely dry. I think the Londinium is 
one of the most fun machines I've ever used. And it actually works really well with lighter roast coffees. That was something that I did not expect to say is I think a lot of spring lovers, more traditional spring lovers are geared towards darker roast coffees, but because you have so much control over your pre-infusion pressures and just in practice using it with some of these ultra light roasted coffees and pulling faster flowing styles of shots, it actually works really well for those of you drinking lighter roast espresso. So I really, really enjoy that uh, about this machine. And I just enjoy that no matter really what I do, I get a fair amount of body in the shot. Uh, is it as repeatable as something like a decent? No, but it's consistent enough. And I think what's awesome about the machine is that I kind of just don't really think too much about what am I, am I pre-infusing correctly? Am I doing everything correctly? Because the machine is incredibly forgiving and it's so straightforward to use. Just pull the lever and have a great time. So that's kind of my take on the Londinium R24. This was more so of a quick overview video of what I think about the machine. But so far, I think anyone who's getting a Londinium is going to have a fantastic time as long as you kind of understand the varying quirks with it. It is a big machine. It is slow. It takes a long time to heat up. But once you get it going, you're going to have a really great time making coffee and it's going to be very fun. So thank you so much for spending the time to watch the video. I'll see you guys around.